is in Cornwall near Land's End which is the southwestern tip of Britain and this site is called the Merry Maidens. There are 19 stones in a circle with other ones to the outside. And the reason why they're called the Merry Maidens is that the church made up a story whereby maidens were performing a ceremony on a Saturday night and they allowed their ceremony to continue into Sunday. So according to the church, a vengeful god decided to punish them by turning them into stone. If we take a nugget from that story and take out all of the negativity that the church imposed, then what we have is the concept of the maidens. So clearly what that tells us is that this would be a place of fertility, a feminine circle, a circle of feminine energy for communing with Mother Earth, communing with the feminine principle. And what's wonderful is that this stone circle, which could be 5,000 years old, is still intact. And it's in Cornwall, in the West Country, that we find more, many, <coughs> hundreds of these stone circles. Whereas in places such as the east of England, where there was more of an Anglo-Saxon presence, as in Saxony, as in Wessex, uh, etc., you have more of the Germanic um, influx, heavy-duty um, Christian church stuff, and therefore a lot of the beautiful stone circles there were destroyed over time and used in house building, etc. But we're fortunate in this part of Britain that so many of these still exist and are cared for and are utilized by people still for their original purpose. 5,000 years on. So this faces west, and according to Sean, who is a local expert on oral traditions of Cornwall and Wales, uh, when someone dies, the spirit goes to the west, which is also true in places like Hawaii and Egypt. And also during the time of Pope Gregory the Ninth, which supposedly was the seventh century, I think, an edict was made that churches, such as this one probably, be planted right on top of ancient Celtic ceremonial sites. Ah! And in fact, that the stones in that location especially the, I think it's called the Saracen Stone, the big standing stone, would be taken, fallen, yeah. and then be placed oh, in as simple. part of, of the foundation of the new church, lying flat, as a way of symbolic submission of the old religion to the new religion called Christianity. But again, it's in the West Country, such as in Cornwall, in Wales, uh, in Ireland, and in Scotland, that hundreds of these stone circles, either intact or in uh, bits, still exist. And the majority, if not all, of the stone circles and markers in Cornwall are granite chosen because it was present and also because it's very high in piezoelectric qualities much like the stones we find in Peru and also in Egypt as in the Aswan granite that has been 
was moved, um, sometimes as much as 500 miles uh, to the building of sacred structures there.